If you are here for public participation, two to three minutes per person, uh, please raise your hand and come forward when we call you. Yes. I think he's got something he's... Sorry for the interruption. I come here dressed in my trash clothes to present to you guys trash. Uh, my name is Mike Ogney, and okay. uh, I recently moved over off of Freeburg Avenue across from the Department of Sanitation about two years ago, I guess now. And about two years ago, I used to believe in recycling, but I no longer do because what I have in this bucket here... This is all from the Department of Sanitation. And this stuff here is all stuff that came out of the recycling. Whenever the recycling gets dumped off in their parking lot, a lot of it makes its way right into the waterways. And I wanted to bring this stuff here to show you guys so you could see it firsthand because you probably haven't been there to the Department of Sanitation's facility. It's at uh, 2115 Freeburg Avenue. And right about noon, 12 o'clock to 12.30 or so, they do this single stream transfer where they dump it from a, a truck into a trailer and they shove it aboard this Republic Services trailer. And the stuff blows in the wind. It gets all over the place into my yard, uh, in my neighbor's yards, into the field across the street, which some of that's from the field. But uh, a lot of it's from the drain where that trailer sits. There's a drain and underneath there, it just drains right out into this like swamp, this wetland area. And it's just, you know, beautiful little wildlife area, but tons of plastic and debris just floating in there. And eventually that's making its way to Richland Creek and on down the waterways, Mississippi River probably eventually into the Gulf. And uh, I think it's atrocious. And I see a lot of people here with the, the polystyrene cups and Maybe those will make their way into the recycle, but those aren't even recyclable. Those, those uh, number six cups, like no one even recycles that. Republic Services, they don't take it. And what you should even know is that this right here is just a drop in the bucket compared to what Republic Services has going on across the river over at 55 and Bayless. It's just Belleville times 100 or more. And it's outside, it pollutes, it goes right into this gravoy creek that's right over there, uh, watershed into the Mississippi River again. So the single stream, it's just terrible. And I don't think anybody really realizes what's going on when they toss their cup into the bin, um, that it's just polluting. It's not actually recycling. It's making people feel good so we can consume more. And I think that people need to know the truth about it. And I, I'm starting here with our leaders of our community. Um, this is going on all over the country. But um, we need to make a change here at home and, uh, and do better. And uh, I invite you guys to examine the truth of the situation and uh, you know, work together and we can see what we can do to make this better. Well, we certainly <coughs> appreciate you bringing this to our attention. And uh, I saw some of your pictures uh, out on the internet. So um, it's, you know, and, and we have been really trying to clear up Richland Creek because of the flooding that we had in the area this past year. So I appreciate you, Michael, for bringing that to our attention. All right, thank you, everybody. I sent you all emails as well, and uh, I've got a group, 618Litter, 618Litter.com. I invite you guys all to check it out on Facebook. We're trying to host cleanup events, make bring awareness to things like this so that we can make changes and make it better around here. Okay, thanks so much.